witches and wizards that fly in the light <laughs> who are telling me you don't believe in nothing. So am I. I'm going on holiday in July. No one can tell me nothing. <laughs> my life, my... Do you marry someone that's like atheist slash agnostic? Mm. So you can't wife for someone who's giving head to two guys. True. So like, it's... it's... <laughs> hey guys, welcome to episode seven of the Let Me Lamb podcast. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's staying safe. Hope everyone's washing their hands. Make sure everyone's clean, everything good. Because, you know, coronavirus shit is getting real. But, um... You already know who it is. It's your hostess with the mostest, the Riche T. And we've got for you today. My lacte are in that. Oh my god. Back with another one. Gone. Gabrielle. A back snow. She said a back snow. Anyway, guys, how's everyone doing? Well, good, man. Quarantine, obviously, locked up. Yeah, guys, Sad. we're all two meters apart, by the way. Yeah, and we haven't been leaving our house, by the way. Just yeah, so before anyone tries to talk, talking rubbish. And don't worry, we're making it work for y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On to the first topic. So, cool. Olani tweeted, well, she didn't tweet it, but she retweeted something about what some girl basically said. And it basically said that making a girl believe you like her just because you want to have sex with her should be classified as sexual assault. What do y'all think? Shit. That's deep. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you say? <laughs> I don't think that should be classified as sexual assault. Why? Because you consented to the sex, though. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's true. true. That is true. I can't lie. Smart one. And I feel like when you start doing stuff like that, it's like it kind of blurs the line of what is actual sexual assault. Because then that's why boys will come and say, and not take sexual assault seriously. You could have told me because I lied to you, but we still had sex. And when I had sex with you, you said yeah. Mm, true. So, you know, I don't really think that counts. But I think people are saying it from a perspective where it's like, because you lied, she's almost, it's like the person, let me look here, to be honest, okay, we're well, so using the example. So because the person lied, technically, they didn't consent to sex. that kind of sex. Do you get it? Like, yeah. because they, because you lie, because the person lied to you, technically that's not consent, it's because you're only, you're only consenting to what you thought you was thought, correct. Oh, yeah, because you thought he liked you. That's yeah, why that's why you consented to it. So mm. then, <laughs> it's still, it's still I mean, yeah, I, I feel like sexual, like, I feel like sexual assault is a stretch. It's a, it's a very but, stretch. because then, yeah, for example, because there's different types of sexual assault, mm-hmm. so. That's like me, for example, participating in 4 jam. And the reason I passed this place is because the guy said the guy that told me to do it said he loved me. So he lied to me saying that he loved me. So I should still not get in trouble for doing the fraud. That's why I shouldn't get in trouble for it. But I still did the crime. That's true. Fair enough. Yeah, sexual assault is a stretch. Yeah, it's a stretch. It I can't lie. And then okay, cool. If it's if it is becomes a thing, how many people that well, we know exactly. will be in that prison place? <laughs> Every nigga will be in that exactly. place. So. And on top, it's actually, to be honest, and on top, if you actually think about it from the perspective of law, I'm going to say, who can prove it? Exactly. That's how it's not proven. Yeah, it's not proven. Because the guy can easily come to court and say, who said I didn't lie? I loved you at the time. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So what do you I mean, unless you do a polygraph test. I said polygraph. Is that what it's called? Lie detector? Yeah. That program thing. <laughs> like, so, did you lie when... Um, yeah, and then their heart increases. It was right. But now it's because I was nervous, isn't it? <laughs> like, how accurate do you think this tests are? Yeah, well, I've always actually I've always wondered about lie detectors. I feel like it's very accurate. Accurate. You, accurate. Accurate. you know CIA agents, they can beat the test. Oh, yeah, they, they, yeah, they've really? learned how to do it. You can be really and truly if you practice and you train, you can beat the test. It's because, but it's because they go on like secret missions and that, and then say if like the like rival people take them yeah. and they do it, they can't oh, crumble under pressure. Yeah. Do you get? Yeah, so like, they learn how like, to like um, money heist. They don't crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this girl just started money heist. She's so excited. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the movie. <laughs> no, but it's true though. They're taught like. When they're under interrogation, how to act, yeah. say the truth for yeah. a bit, then twist But then I'm thinking, up. yeah, because no, for the thing I'm thinking of is because if I was to do a lie test, test I think because I'm trying to remain so calm, I'd feel like I'm yeah. nervous. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then that's what would just fuck You're up. Yeah, and it's not just it's not just your heartbeat that they're taking. They take like your brain, like how your brain is moving. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. there's ones that are really in depth. I like I feel like the Jeremy Kyle ones and that is probably like just your heart rate, <laughs> but like deep ones like deep ones it's like yeah it's like your brain wavelength 
then your hubby, then your sweat glands, if you start sweating, if your mm. pores start opening True. up, all that crap. Bruh, that actually be better, actually, mate. Eh? I'm not sure I like Imagine you didn't lie and then no, you like to come see yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> Bruh, I'd be so upset. Boy. What the hell? But yeah, so no sexual assault, guys. Yeah, no, it's man, it's yeah it's I feel like it takes... I feel yeah. like it's a stretch to say it's sexual assault. Like, it's very wrong when people do that, lie, but to say sexual assault is a big, it's big like stretch. You have to be careful it takes the seriousness out of Facts. what sexual assault actually You have to be very careful is. who you're dealing because... <laughs> 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 so, guys, basically I was watching 100 Humans, recommend, by the way, some very good show, because it basically, like, um, it tests humans on different things. Obviously, there's some... In val- validity, whatever psychology was a long time ago, but like, it's but only, it's only done in America. Generalizing, yeah, validity, validity, but they basically get 100 humans, all different ages, all different races, and they test out different things on them. And then one of the tests was, do you think that being a being attractive makes you wait? Ha, being do you think funny. being funny makes you more attractive? Yeah, I actually do. Why? I don't even have a point. Um, can I tweet? Yeah, go on. I feel like I would like you so much more much better if you're funny because you're making me smile and you're making me yeah. laugh. Speak up, speak up, speak up. You're making me smile and you're oh, making me laugh. To speak up. <laughs> so he's gonna be shouting all the way through right. now. <laughs> um, no, yeah, because yeah, because you're making me laugh and smile. Obviously, it's happiness. And if you're, mm. it's, it's not, it's happiness, not a thing that you need in. in so in there, you think that makes them more physically attractive? Yeah, fam. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I don't know about physically still. Physically, no, that's what the question is. Yeah, I feel like oh, okay. Do you think it makes them more physically attractive? Oh, yeah, fam. I thought you just okay, said it kind of yeah, yeah. You are all people attractive in general. But then again, yeah, because it kind of take Because he's making you laugh and he's yeah. making you smile, mm-hmm. you look beyond his physical aspects. Yeah. You, just, you look like more on personality wise because if he's yeah. making me happy he's making me laugh banter all oh, the time shit. i think i'm gonna look beyond physical aspects i can't lie that's what the thing and the thing they were basically like because they got two people to tell a, to come and tell a story yeah. but and then like the person was just saying it's so dead and then they were just like no yeah no she wasn't even that cute like he wasn't even that pretty paying this, this. but then when they came to tell a funny story to a different group it made them seem more attractive yeah. because you're ba- they, they just there's some, there's some mm for it that. evokes yeah. an emotion. Funny in people, you. Are, I can't lie, I'm more attractive. No, funny people. It definitely. I feel like it makes you more attractive just because when you bring out different emotions in people. Yeah, that's actually true. They're like, oh shit! Like, I think they can't look at you a bit different. Like, yeah. Oh, oh, shit, you guys, do you think it's the same for boys? Yeah, but boys, boys don't think girls are funny. Yeah, this is not well, yeah. I've been told I'm funny. Fact, I can't lie. I've been told I'm funny. Like, 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 I've been told we've all been told we were funny. <laughs> I'm the funniest oh, person okay. I know personally. <laughs> I'm going to treat this too hard. You know, <laughs> I can't lie. Until, on my deathbed, I'm the funniest person I know. <laughs> I think so, if you don't think I'm funny, that's just. <laughs> I think boys do look at it. Because it's yeah, I've been told I'm funny. I've been told, guys. I've been told, yeah. Like, okay, I've been told no one's been able to make him laugh as much as I do kind of thing and smile. So I feel boys do look at mm. it because there's some girls you'll be with and they're just so serious that like they don't bring anything to it. Oh, yeah. But if you can have bats with a girl, mm. do some but girl. Still be so I still feel, yeah. I feel like men are still more, like, physically, like, they'll still sometimes yeah, they'll overlook fun yeah, 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 they're yeah. more yeah. physically driven. Oh, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So it doesn't come into play as well? Nah, it's a secondary thing still, it's, not yeah. primary. It's not primary <laughs> thing. Well, that's true, you know, because I feel like with girls, because I think mean, because boys don't think girls are funny in general, they won't even look for that in a girl. Yeah, yeah. Whereas with boys, you have to be funny because that's dead. That's be I'm serious the whole time. We'll just be lying on the bed, just looking just at each other. Like, nope. Like, 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 imagine it. someone that's trying to not like you'll be playing. No, nah, like what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't even know what you mean. It's my bats, bro. If you don't get my bats, there was someone like that all the time in secondary school. Be like, you guys are so childish. Wait, who? All the time, we'll do bunch. Be like, you guys are childish. You guys are childish. What's wrong with you? Yeah, What's wrong yeah. with you? Like, she's just always on this act. Oh, older than she was. them people. Jaren, bro. But anyway, we move, so I'm guessing. <laughs> guys, that's a tip for you guys. Being funny makes you more attractive. Yeah, so it does. brush up on your skills. Cool. Next. And, and magic tricks. Oh, yeah, shout out Lawrence, guys. <laughs> Lawrence told, told us on magic tricks last week. It was a bit Juju. of a madeline. <laughs> 
we're going to talk about Paris Leslie and her dream. So basically, guys, Mateo's going to explain this to you because she knows it in depth. I mean, I had a dream. Well, she knows it better than I do, so <laughs> go on. Um, there is a woman from America who had a dream mm-hmm. and God came to her and basically showed her, like, what well, with this coronavirus thing? So oh. basically... Oh, yeah, so basically, um, he took her to different parts of the world and then obviously showed, like, what's going on in those different parts. So I think it was Ghana. Wait, in her dream? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Ghana, China, and she lives in America, so America, and somewhere else, I can't remember the other places, but obviously, like, as in, like, she said, like, you could see she was going there and then she'll be there. Like, she was like, I've never been China, but I was there. But, yeah, so basically, yeah, um, like, he was like, look at what my people are doing. Instead of giving their lives to Christ, instead of them repenting, mm-hmm. instead of them to be doing godly stuff, and then, like, I've put, basically, he's put, he hasn't put Corona on this earth, but he's made this come about mm-hmm. so that we learn from our mistakes and that we become closer to him. Yeah. Um, and then, and then um, he showed, like, when he when they went back to America, he showed a flag a like a dream or whatever like a vision of her family members, and then she was like, and he was like, even you, you're someone who's godly, but look what your family members are doing. Mm. I've entrusted you to help your family members come closer to me, but you're not doing anything. Mm. And then and then there was a video of her cussing Donald Trump, and then it was like in the Bible, I've told you to pray for your leaders, not discourage your lead, like not like be yeah, mean about yeah, your yeah. leaders, basically. Yeah, and then. Yeah, just how, yeah, we should repent and that um, 14 days of rain will come. Yeah. I don't know when, though, I can't remember. But 14 days of rain will come. And after those 14 days is when we, we decide whether it's locking off the planet or not, basically. Um, yes. Yeah, so, um, in that time, so from the time he's now told her about the dream, she should use her platform to make other people aware. Mm-hmm. And then once she makes other people aware, as, Chris, as Christians, it's our role to bring everyone to god to god's mm-hmm. house to, so yeah that she, she, we should we that we should basically just all repent um and seek god's seek god's uh love into our hearts and all that stuff i said they had to fast for the 14 days didn't they? oh yeah we yeah. need to fast for those 14 days so, so, i can't remember I, can't, I, can't, I don't remember when the 14 days starts oh, yeah. when but the yeah. rain starts isn't it? yeah but it's not raining yeah it's been very sunny i was trying to say i can't i just checked the weather right now mm. <laughs> <laughs> it might rain on monday but it's sunny on tuesday and then wednesday thursday it's sunny as well well then so then basically my question from that was so guys if you feel like you had a dream like that what would you do listen i can't lie <laughs> that's how i a bug out <laughs> that's honestly oh, this is what i say to people because when i was reading that yeah because honestly, when I was reading that, I wasn't by myself in it. So I asked the person that I was with and I said to them, like, do they agree with it? Obviously, mm-hmm. the person was like, oh, no. If it's not someone that I don't know, then I don't really, can't really trust stuff like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like when it comes to God revealing it to some people, he reveals it to the people that he knows that can kind of, like, first of all, when he reveals it, they can kind of contain it and go about it. Because I know if God showed me that right now, I ain't leaving my house. I'm <laughs> bugging out. I know exactly what I'm like. Like, I'll just be like, what the hell what the hell what the hell but obviously um i do believe in it though mm-hmm. like i do believe in some bits of it because i like for example you know how there was bible scriptures that i've also like yeah occurred, correlated with what's going yeah, on yeah what's going on but i don't know i would bug out <laughs> i would actually bug out god knows who i am i know he knows i have a loud mouth so <laughs> i'm telling everybody <laughs> I'm telling everybody. It's true. Whether I tell you you do something about that, can't that's, lie, that's, that's really your own because I've actually told you. Mm-hmm. But then, yeah, I feel like, as he said to the woman, he's like, I've given you a platform. Yeah. I've made you such a significant person to the American race that I've made sure you have this dream. So open your mouth, basically. Mm. Like, the whole reason why she's so... It probably came to her is because she's a very devoted Christian mm-hmm. and she does sermons and stuff on, like, YouTube and that, that yeah. thousands of people watch or millions or whatever. Yeah. So... He's given her the platform mm-hmm. for his own benefit. So basically, do my work. All you have to do is do the work. You're yeah. getting money anyways. So True. like, do you know what I mean? So That's yeah, true. no, I definitely feel like I would definitely tell people I kind of like, but it's up to you. I don't know. Unique. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going to sound mad, isn't it? No, it's going. 
speak your truth. I don't even know. I, with stuff like that, I'm just always a bit iffy about stuff like that. So I might tell my dad to see what he says about it. <laughs> <laughs> but and I find, you know, okay, me and my, I feel like my dad's a bit skeptical as well. That's mm-hmm. why. That's why I'm a bit you know. So. Yeah. Because in my dad's head, yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's telling me God only loves you. Why couldn't he show me himself? <laughs> oh, makes sense. That's what he I always says. That's one thing he always says. He says, why is it only one person that's got the vision? Because me too, I go to sleep and dream. Why can't I have the dream too? Mm. So he's just a bit, you know, sceptical about stuff like that, which makes me a bit sceptical too. Fair enough. But then, on from that as well, memorable yeah. English. <laughs> Remember when we were all on FaceTime and then we were talking about, so if God, if you had a dream, yeah, about like a person that you're gonna marry or a person like your boyfriend or something, oh, would you take the dream seriously? If like in the dream it was a thing where the guy, the person was doing a madness, like the God was just trying to show you that's not him, or your dream was trying to show you that's not him, and like, what would you do in that situation? This is why I'm saying this is a bit weird as well because the same bad dream you've had about the person, sometimes you have good dreams about them too. So then, mm. which one's real? But then, what if it's like a madness? Because then, for example, I feel like, I think it was Mella Child, she, I think she said when she was in uni, uh, she had like a dream or something about, I think it was a boy she was seeing or something, and then she said the dream was mad, then she woke up and obviously he was lying next to her. Hey. And, <laughs> no, 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 like, like he, it was like a sleepover, like he was already at her yeah. house, and then obviously they fell asleep, then she had a dream oh, about yeah. him, and then she woke up and then she was like, and then she basically explained, she was like, is this what you're, do- why are you doing this, da, 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 da. I can't remember what actually happened in the end, but I remember her, her story time about it, but it was mad, like she said that she had a dream about him, she had to question him, like, is this what you're really trying to do to me like it's like almost like god revealed to her yeah, what his yeah. true intentions were i can't lie i would believe in my dream do you think yeah 100 percent. like i believe that dreams are like a form of god revealing something not i don't not every single dream that i have in it yeah but like, i feel like in some situations like that i feel like it is actually a revelation like i, I would actually believe in my dream so what five years deep into your <laughs> goodbye <laughs> You're so what's the boy doing in the dream? Nah, I'll just tell him to go. Is he doing like jujitsu or something? I don't know, like his, his intentions are not good for your life. Yeah, good vibes. I'm, I'm going. Yeah. Because deep it, imagine yeah, if he was like, if the dream was actually true, mm-hmm. and I can't, sure and, it. and it affects me long term, mm. like over. Okay, cool. I understand five years, but I would rather get myself out of the situation now than drag myself ten years deep and I've just basically fucked up my life mm. kind of thing. I would rather get out of the situation because. I feel like with God, yeah, it's like he can show you so many red flags, yeah, and the more you keep ignoring it, the more he you just keep messing up your life mm-hmm. long term, kind of thing. Yeah. So I can't. So it's kind like, of I affecting can't. your future. Yeah, it, I feel like I feel like everything we do now kind of some somewhat affects our future. I was gonna say, do you think we, do you think our future is fate? Do you think it, like we what we do now affects our future? Or do you think everything's already planned? Everything's already aligned. I feel do like it think? affects. I think it affects our future. Do you I think, think it affects. Because he gave us, he gave us free will. I think yeah, that's what I So how can he give us? Mm-hmm. But then God said, mm-hmm. "This is taking me back to Ari." It's not like I It's not like I want to It's not like I want to question God, but you've given humans free will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you're saying you've sorted out our life or yeah. his plan. That's, that's so that's it's a bit of a conf- conf- one. But you then know, it's kind of like. But then do you think even though you've given us, even though you he's given us free will, yeah, do you think that he already knows what we're going to do, though? Do you know what, yeah, do you know what I feel like it's like, yeah? I feel like it's like, um, A, B, or C. You know, multiple choice? Uh, that's what I feel like it's like. So there's that's three how, different roads yeah, that's how already. Always, that's how I've always thought about it, like, depending on what you Mateo, do. if you do this, even though God has planned it out for you, you have three ways, you have three different things Option. that's going to have. Options. That he's already planned because that's still planned. Oh, Those three yeah. options, they're still planned. It just yeah. Tick, what road you which, go which one are you? Oh, which one so are you true, ticking? Do you get what I mean? Hundred percent stuff that we do now affects us in the future. Like, it has to deep it, deep, deep, deep it. So deep. For example, social media. When people are young, they tweet stuff. It catches up to them mm, when they're old. It's true. One tweet: This black girl's ugly, <laughs> racist, racist, racist. Yeah, hundred percent. It affects us. Think about it like that, you know. But going back to the dream thing, yeah. Don't you think like cool? I feel like yeah. Um, a God revealed dream, like God revealing a dream to you, it's always going to feel different to you the way you dream normally. Because mm. I feel like when you dream normally, it's a 
psychological thing because it's what you was probably thinking about maybe during the day or like you've seen something mm. or you might not have actually seen something and recognize you've seen it yeah but you your eyes saw it so it's yeah. now like picked up mm-hmm. that you know they're dreaming about it yeah. oh, you know what I mean? like how they say you everyone in your dream you've seen, you've seen before oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. you don't recognize them yeah, your eyes have seen them can't lie once I had a dream, I was with some random guys. Yeah, I saw her. I was very much scared. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw her and she smiled at me as if I'd been in your dream. I said, hey! <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> this is scary. Scary. <laughs> wow. And I also believe, yeah, that um, stuff are shown to people specifically. Yeah, like, for example, I feel like God shows dreams or stuff like that to people maybe based on... I don't know how to explain it because I don't want it to seem like mad. For example, you may be going through a situation mm-hmm. or like you may be going through like a bad time in life, stuff mm-hmm. like that. And God is basically trying to pick you up out of that situation and show you something. Yeah. And then I also feel like he reveals to people that he knows that can contain it. Like for example, if obviously I said, if I was revealed that I can't lie, I'm not leaving my room, I'm yeah. bugging out, I'm uh, thinking what yeah. the hell is going on. Mm-hmm. But some people, he knows that that person will actually be able to stand up like, they will oh, be able to take, be able it, to, like, in. take it in. They'll be yeah. able to... So I feel like he reveals it to people that he knows that can go about it and people... Mm, that, that's yeah. true. That's, that's so what I do on it. That they can basically... That he knows that when he gives, when he shows it to them, that they're going to yeah, do something. Yeah, they're going to do something mm-hmm. about it, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> would you marry... Um, would, you, would you marry someone that's, like, atheist slash agnostic? What's agnostic again? So they're like, come see, come sa, kind of thing. <laughs> I listen to French. Like, um, they're a bit iffy. Like, they believe in some bits, but not... Like, they believe there's a God, but they don't believe in, like, maybe stuff that you might believe in, like, visions or the Holy Spirit or I don't know. I don't know if I can... I don't think I can marry an atheist mm. just because, like... That's a mad me- like it's like you don't have faith in anything. Yeah. Like you don't believe in you anything. Wake up, you don't you can yeah. pray. Yeah, like, <laughs> like if you're fam, free, when you go out to a restaurant, you don't pray over your food. Mm. You know, like, you touch this. Exactly. Like it's a thing where I'm so sorry. I feel like growing up, especially being African, yeah. Mm-hmm. Growing up with my mum, the fear that my mum has put <laughs> about witches and wizards that fly in the night, <laughs> you're telling me you don't believe in nothing. <laughs> like the the rituals that people are doing outside, you <laughs> don't believe in none of that. Huh? You just be going about your day dandy. You don't know who's praying over your life saying they want you to die today. Yeah, exactly. yeah. No, yeah, that's that's a stretch. I'm so sorry. But what if the agnostic doesn't even believe in like the witches and wizards thing? No, I still feel like that's a sticky one because um, if you think about it, even long time, yeah. Because I always think about um, you have to think about cool. They may not affect you, but you ha- you're gonna have children with yeah, this person. Gonna pray so like, children. what's gonna happen? Because you're telling me I'm gonna be praying over my children. You're gonna be feeling some type of way. Yeah, can't lie. That's, that's what's going on, uh, going on with my parents. My mom is a very very strict. Pentecostal. My dad is a wayward. What? Wayward. <laughs> wayward. <laughs> <laughs> Believes in in Catholicism, but hasn't been church in like ten years. Like since after I've done my communion. But all right. But it's like she. Even she says to me like, you have to actually marry a Christian because how is she here on her hands and knees every bloody yeah. day praying for my dad, oh. and he's just out here doing jack shit. Do you get what mm. I mean? Like obviously not doing jack shit, like, obviously, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Like. She has to do double prayer, whereas mm-hmm. if he was praying to me, then truly what they will be praying for is me. It's true. I agree with you. So, guys, if you find the guy now, would you look into that? Like, yeah, well, yeah. like Christian. Yeah. 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 Well, you think, you think I can quote my mum? And she's not God fearing. Oh. Is that me in her prayer every single day? Oh, God fearing man. Because I know, yeah, if I brought a boy home, my mum would ask him, So, do you go to church? Yeah. Yeah. That's so, the first question my mum's asking. Fa- do you no, church? The thing is, I think my mum would ask because why, why should you have to, why should you have to ask oh. that question? Yeah. Yeah. It's straight, yeah, it's straight. Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, she's gonna yeah. ask, Do you believe in it's God? Defo- Are you God fearing? Yeah, that's like defo- that. something that is, is. This woman, she said, Ganyan and God fearing. <laughs> That's the two things. Everything else that I don't think she cares. But don't you guys feel like it's hard to find a guy like that right now? Well, not find. Obviously, we're not looking, but, like... I feel like, right now, what we've gotten up to is... Pe- boys are coming to Christ. I cannot lie. Yeah. Deep our church. Guys, mm. deep the church that we but go to. I can't to lie. Is in, full of since I've been here, that's my first time ever seeing ever so many boys. so much Because I can't lie. Church. Back in London, my brothers and my cousins, yeah, they don't like, like church. I feel like Boys. as we've got, like, people are really finding Christ, especially in Leicester, I can't lie to you, like, people are really finding Christ, so, um, even if they're not as built up in terms of their, like, in terms of 
their belief, mm-hmm. at least they have some ground. And yeah. we can both work on it because I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, mm-hmm. yeah, but we can true. be perfect together. So yeah. I feel like a lot of boys that we are, have been seeing are like, we can have a, we can definitely have a conversation about it. Do you know I, I feel like, like, that's like I feel like, I feel like, because of what you said about, I feel like it's easier in uni mm. just because I feel like Cruise Rumble, less is a small place, there's only a certain amount of ch- churches you could go to. Yeah. And for example, for where I live, I, the closest Pentecostal church, I don't even know where it is. Oh, yeah, that's true. true. Whereas, for example, if you were to go to somewhere like South East, there's one around every corner. Yeah, every single corner. So yeah. it's just like... And they're uh, still not going. <laughs> can't lie. They will come after the service to <sighs> chill, but they're not going no. inside. No. Or they're going there to take a picture, to do drippy drippy. <laughs> so, I mean... I don't feel like I feel like it just depends on. I feel like in uni because we see a massive gang, mm. people's stories is crazy. Yeah. They have no reason not to turn to crime. Mm. It's true. a Madeline up in this middle of the place. <laughs> right, right, she right, right, can't right. right, right. right, right. believe right, right. a Madeline, Madeline, bro, Madeline. So like in London, I don't feel like. I don't feel like they're feeling it like that. Yeah, mm, probably yeah. because London's so big as well. Yeah, it's whereas true. here it's tiny and there's Madeline and there's witches and nah. Mm, Sorry. It's true. We must pray. We must go to it's church. True. Boy, don't know about this place, boy. Couple Bye. Of- That's just good enough to get good enough. <laughs> <Right. laughs> but then yeah, you can <laughs> see, it, see it as this year, cool. Obviously when you're at home, yeah, you're around your parents, like you might have like prayerful parents constantly praying all the time all the time but obviously when you come to uni you're on your when you come to uni you're on your ones in it like mm. so for example you're not going to be praying as much you're not going to be deep in stuff as much because mm-hmm. for example like when i'm at home it's <coughs> kind of my mum that will pray that make me feel oh yeah i need to pray kind of thing do you know what i mean yeah but when you're by yourself you're in uni so it's kind of not on your mind because you're busy you're doing this you're doing that yeah. so some people may not actually go to church and oh, stuff yeah, because they're enough. not deep in it mm-hmm. so this is so like, I feel like this segue how we go from this to the next topic they just you don't correlate know. at all but you know anyway <laughs> <laughs> so guys could you marry an ex porn star or an ex <laughs> <laughs> yeah they don't correlate still they don't correlate at all <laughs> but could you marry an ex porn star or ex or escort <laughs> Oh, sick, no. Do you know what? I'm very, I'm very much in don't judge people based mm. on their past. Mm. Mm. However, mm. my only problem with that sort of like job and career is because everyone can, everyone see it. Yeah. yeah. And it's not as, as, I don't want everyone to be to have seen my man in action. Yeah. That's a bit like as if anyone could just type him in. And yeah. True, 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 true. What about an escort then? Escort, like, do you know what? Yeah, you have to, forgiveness of forgiveness. escorts. Not that deep though. They, they didn't have to be sleeping with everyone. They, they yeah, they don't that. have to. Mm. They're just being seen with ballers and Hakkasan and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. If, it, if it's talking about you, escort, he's a man escort. Yeah, he's no, the sugar mummies. Okay, <laughs> they're still going Hakkasan, that's what I'm saying though. What I, if he I, is I, I, sex I, I could have married an ex escort, I probably could. Uh, yeah, an escort what is what not that sexy. Because some of them do sex them. Yeah. Can't lie for sex and then you got to go still. That's just. <laughs> and then we can't have that. We can't even say that because imagine because we we well, said on the podcast before that we'd have sugar daddies. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that is true. So, that is. Oh, we didn't say true. we was gonna marry a sugar daddy. That's a difference. No, as in like so what if but we had a sugar daddy? Mean? Our boyfriend could, would not judge us on our past. True. Uh, who said he's gonna marry? <laughs> 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 who said it? Well, I just don't feel like he should. I don't know. If you meet someone and you really like them, mm-hmm. and th- you've met them as they are right now in the present, yeah, mm-hmm. and they seem like a good person and everything, I don't think that past, if it's that past, mm-hmm. should you know really affect. Because what's the difference between escorting and what's it called? If your man had a body count of one hundred before you met you, true, true, very true. That is so true. At least he was making bread. Exactly. At least he was I'm... getting money out of it. That's very <laughs> true. <laughs> Guys, when you're getting married, then the sugar mummy just comes like, I object. Hey, you object to what? He's mine now. It's all right. Take a seat, baby. You can have a cake at the end. He's mine now. Uh, we've had our time together. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
basically there was this woman in america and she was a mother of five boys and she was also a triple negative breast cancer survivor but i don't really know what that means it's, i tried to research it but i don't know she, it's to, she basically she had breast cancer yeah. and then she quit she quit her job she was a nurse because she got sent to her floor where coronavirus patients were treated so basically do you think she was right for doing that for quitting yeah I have children at home. Yeah, yeah but okay. the, 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 the only problem is well. the, yeah. a lot of the doctors and nurses have ch- children at home. The, not every mm. single doctor and nurse is a single person living in a single household. But, she but she's, prior, she had um, she she prior, had cancer. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah. So it can, can hit her ten times worse. Like, like, her doctor knows it. That's why she quit. It was on the shade room, innit? Yeah. Yeah, and she was in the room, and she was like, "I just quit." Yeah. yeah she's I just quit my job. But people was like, "You go, girl. Like, you've got to think about yourself sometimes." Mm-hmm. I can't lie. Because deep it, she had other underlying issues. Yeah. Mm. So once that hits her, her immune system's it's tight. Deep. It's tight. Up it. Kids. My God. Five. It's not even. Yeah. No, and she was no. basically saying how she didn't. She didn't have anywhere to send the boys as well. Like it's not like, yeah. for example, you know, like a lot of um, medical staff are like isolating from their family. Oh yeah. All that stuff. So she was like, I don't have anywhere to send them. Da, da, da. It's not like she's just this mad. I felt kind of bad for her, you know. I don't know, because it was like, oh, that's so sad. Because how many lives could you have saved if you stayed? Mm. So there's like, mm. you know, it's just it's, oh, it's a very sticky it's situation. And then also, I feel like her boss should have, like, can she not send someone else? Yeah, but then I'm guessing that they're all understaffed, though. True. There's literally no one else. That's why they're asking us to volunteer to come and help. <laughs> Wow, do I have oh, a, yeah. a medical degree? Oh, <laughs> um, the Nightingale Hospital in Excel. Oh, yeah. Is it? Ah, have you not they seen it? Oh, I've seen how they built it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're asking people. people. Yeah. Oh, sorry, what's this I'm hearing about? They've only got 30 ventilators. Oh, yeah. Really? On, on BBC. Yeah, the woman was like, <laughs> when the woman right. was reading the thing, yeah, she, even she looked confused. So I was like, how, um, if I'm reading this correctly, <laughs> just, like, I, just have to, I just have to double check the facts. Um, but it says 30 <laughs> ventilators. I mean, we were in need of 30,000. Yeah. But it's insane. It does make sense. Insane, because, the, because the actual hospital itself, look, the actual hospital itself can hold 4,000. 4,000. 4, 4, and you've only got 30 <laughs> ventilators. Like, wow. it doesn't make sense. I don't understand. It actually doesn't make any sense. Can't like, what the hell is a ventilator? It's a I know what it is. Breathe. What does it look like, though? I think it's a it's a big like oxygen tank thing. Uh huh. And, and then, then it's then got just the mask attached. So can nobody build that in time? Bruv, because they're saying that they should have got like people from you know like Dyson and all them type of oh, companies yeah, to, they build have it. Come to build it. And apparently they are, but I don't know how long this is taking. But I can't lie, <laughs> this Dyson thing with their with their four hundred pound air wrap thing, I'm sure they can build ventilators in no time. In no time. So So guys, is it actually getting um extended to six months? When you're watching oh, the news. Nah, that's that dead. That's actually dead. When it's, not, what they they say. it's not what she it's she basically what she what she actually says is the woman on the news. Yeah. The the one the where that everyone got their six months thing from. <laughs> she says we've taken these three three weeks to review. Mm-hmm. Even if we have taken these three weeks to review, after the three weeks we want to see numbers are going down. No, so, it's going up. So mm-hmm. then we've given then she says what we, if we give it another two months mm. cool and it goes I can't just let everyone back out the zoo. Yeah. Yeah, because of course, you're, we'll yeah. back, we'll back So which up. is why she said it, it we might not be on lockdown for six months, but we'll ha- we'll slowly be edging our way out of lockdown in six months. So like So it's not the same thing. It's like but we're still it's, like, inside though. it's like no but it's like restrictions will become looser and looser and looser and looser. Until yeah. things go back to normal. Until things like, go back to normal. So it's not actual lockdown like what we're doing right now. But, like how nothing's working. So I'm not it will slowly it come back. That's your question. No, yeah, like, like, you're not going on holidays. My here. title question is so like, is why this going to give you that money? <laughs> oh, oh wow! Can't lie. You've, got, you've got to act them still. Yeah, I can't lie. That's I another thing. All these festivals. I'm going on holiday. Money back. So am I. I'm going on holiday in July. No one can tell me nothing. <laughs> can't lie. My mum. You know how my mum was meant to go two weeks ago now. Yeah. She she pushed it to May. I was like, do you no, be, so gosh, they yeah they 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 pushed it to May. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, I'm just going to have to keep pushing until I'm allowed to fly. But okay, cool. Like that, I, yeah, fair I'm enough, fair enough. That's what she, that's what the only option she has. Kyla, we have another holiday coming up in July. <laughs> so it's either I'm going to America on my ones. <laughs> oh. And she was like, oh, well, you can come, you can come Ghana with me. I was like, huh? That How does that make so sense? Sick. Maybe it might start dying down by July, August. July, August. 
Can't lie, I, I, I don't know about really. you lot, but I'm definitely going to America in July. That's right. Listen, all I feel about is my birthday in November. I don't care about these June, July, they actually wireless still. But I don't care about the ginger lies because it has, to, take listen, it it has yeah, to be done, done by November. I'll be outside, but it's not September. 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 <laughs> because if I spend my birthday in quarantine, someone's get... gonna happen. It's and it's your 21st. That's big. I cannot lie. What are you saying? House party on your 21st? Period. Because yeah. Because fuck this. <laughs> so, everyone's seen the TL topic is UK Twitter and not being friendly enough. For girls to be shaking their ass on live. So basically, everyone, if you guys don't know, Tory Lanez has been doing quarantine, quarantine, quarantine yeah, radio. <laughs> He's been He's doing that recently. Bored. And obviously, girls all across America have been coming on his live, shaking their ass. Da, 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 da. And the argument on the TR was do you think the same could happen in the UK? And why or why not? Do you know what's funny? I saw a tweet yeah, that says that <laughs> UK girls whine. And um, American girls twerk. Oh, I saw <laughs> that. Ask it's an actually Ameri- true. Ask an American girl um, to actually... whine and she won't know what to do. Yeah, it's, it's actually like, true. That's they just know how to go like this. That's actually so true. I've never did that either. Yeah, you've never did it. American girls, I've never seen them whine. Tell them to do it underwater. Struggling. Oh, you know, I don't think Vice Patel got released from prison. No, he didn't. Can't believe Takashi 6 9 has come out. Yeah. However, <laughs> my boyfriend Henny went out and he took a helicopter. So Kesha sits down and he's going back inside. I can't lie. Can't lie. I haven't heard it. So you need to show here. Yeah, back to the topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, do you think? Um, so why don't you think UK girls could? Do you think UK girls can do the same thing? No way. Well, like shit, their bum like that. Yeah, on the live. You don't. Don't get me wrong. There's some girls that can twerk like. No, it's no, not. No, it's no, not no. like not like they, they don't have the skills. Oh, I think, do you think they, would they would they do it? No, do you know the reason why I actually don't think they will? Because yeah, the UK, you know, like I can't lie. How do I explain it? Like for because as someone tweeted this, they were like, if a British girl was to go on there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's just so ends are so small. Someone will know someone, that knows, small, someone yeah. that knows someone that knows someone that knows her. Definitely. So it's like I don't think she would because I swear some uh, British girl went into Tory Lanez's yeah. lab and then she went out straight away. Didn't yeah, she? no, she did it. She twerked, but yeah. then when he was like, "I'm gonna need you to pull down those trousers," she cut. See, see, like someone. I feel like it's just so small here. Like someone knows someone, so I don't feel they think they would want to ru- ruin their reputation. Like, Bro, we don't lie. even have enough enough black girls or representation in music videos let alone instagram <laughs> so it's like and everyone in london is bougie 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 yeah. bougie yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this has well, done. Done. americans don't care we care about america that's what it, because if you think america's got 50 51 states yeah and uh, it's not even about america UK. america being bigger i'm so sorry in america rappers and shit they they wife strip strippers yeah. Yeah. British people can't wife for someone who's giving head to two guys true so true. like it's, it's <laughs> how do you got too much pride too much pride just too much pride he was I think Nella was even like, and let's not forget the um, this why I could never have a daughter to it. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, you know that they will start coming for yeah, that. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, very yeah, true. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. the UK is too small, and on top, everyone's. Like, I feel like British people are just rude. Yeah, they're, yeah, they are. Because they like, are. a British girl couldn't do that, and no, she wouldn't receive no, any guys, violence. Deep Spring Break, Miami, bro. Deep, they come out in thousands. <laughs> In the middle of the yeah. road, twerking, doing, so doing all sorts lot. of nonsense. Mm. Like, they don't care. Yeah, not but that's such a vibe. My girl can never do carnival. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. If, I catch, if I catch my girl in blueprint. Oh. 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 If your girl goes, um, like what's, that, what's that club? Holidays, what's that club, uh, what's that club in London? Libs. Yeah, liberty, uh, she's a Libs girl. No, it's actually true because was it not like, for example, Portugal, that girl that, what did she do? I can't remember. She had a video when I think she was having sex with someone. Straight away, people found her and like, oh, yeah, the, the her girl that had to deactivate is straight the girl away. That had a Guys, I remember I was at the airport trying to find deactivated already yeah. in no time. Like, Even people that are girl, quick with it. I can't remember what carnival it was like. 2016 maybe that black girl and then she was getting fingered in carnival and then oh, everyone found her just yeah, like that yeah, 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 it was just yeah, yeah. a picture of her no one even knew her name nothing yeah see it's too but, small we can't someone will find her someone will screenshot be like and people, people, Amy that's Amy's said people are too vindictive because really mm-hmm. and truly if a girl's getting car- fingered at carnival what is your own what is <laughs> it's not your vagina <laughs> it's true. It's so what's your own it's true it's actually really true people are too curious in London they were too curious about people's yeah. sexual lives 
way too curious, bro. Yeah, I feel like American people are just more open in general. Yeah, they're like, okay, oh, cool, she had sex, and what? They're like, it's not even me. Wow. It's not American boys boy counting from when they're like 12. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So, <laughs> they do, like, that's, that's a bit no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Americans, they're very... I like yeah. their vibe by Carol. Oh, no, I love American vibes. I said I'm going to live there by force. Mm-hmm. Nah, American girls, just, they just, they don't care. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. And the they're thing is, you know no one's going to judge them because everyone's done it. Everyone's yeah, done everyone. it. And look, fam, you know, American girls are on piss. They'll fight you. Yeah, it's true. Even the fight. You a motherfucking hoe. Yeah, you a yeah, motherfucking hoe. Yeah, you baby mama's a mother. Yeah, you baby daddy. You the funny thing is, you're insulting each other with the same insult. The same insult. Your, your daddy's a hoe. Okay, but your daddy's a hoe. Like, <laughs> like they're very open, like deep. It like Cardi B used to do stripping. She's open about it. I'm like, really like, doing it. Like, I'm trying to. All, 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 all the people did it. Like, yeah. like rappers. Yeah. Yeah. Slut, that, you check me. That slut, that slut walk thing. Bro, they you know do every year. If it was England, they just you'd have to go into hiding. You could never show your face. You could actually never show your face. I can't like even yeah. JV is still getting ammo for the. Whitney come get your man thing. And then, look how long ago it is. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, British people, they don't let go of things. I think because American let people, go. I feel like in America, their life moves so quickly. Yeah, they don't have time to dwell on things. They don't care. It's really true. It's never that date. Even speaking, con- bleh, continuing on from that, so basically I saw this on Instagram. Some girl basically said that Swans needs, to, oh, because Swans is, I think he's trying to do the same thing as Tory Lanez yeah, now. So then Swans needs to pattern because... She said, I'm only explaining this because I feel like it needs to be stopped. It was fun the first time, maybe second, but he's doing too much. You guys are saying it's just Instagram live. Okay, what if some sexy, sexy bait porn star was whipping out his dick on live, playing with that shit, busting it bit by bit, and your girl goes to watch it at 8pm every day. Think before you talk, because if it was your girl, you would feel away. Men hate when us girls have eyes on other niggas, so why are you, you guys, excusing me? because it's just us, no bro. What about the people who have been going out for years strong in their relationship? You're now causing problems in people's lives as if being apart from your girlfriend or boyfriend isn't hard enough during quarantine. Some of us cannot see our boyfriend due to this bullshit, so to have some shit like this going on and we can't do anything about it, it's not gonna lie, it's a slap in the face, bro. Case closed. Listen, if you don't want to watch, you don't have to watch it. Mm, I'm really so don't. sorry. If that's go- what's going to take to break up your relationship, your relationship that, is dead. Exactly. exactly. It was exactly. so dead before that. What do you think he's going to come through the screen and grab and what, my bum? switch the gal or something? Wow. You're coming to check a whole rapper. Go and check your boyfriend. And this is what I don't understand. You know, like, when people enter a relationship, do they expect that partner to find every single person they see now? Exactly. Ugly. Mm-hmm. So, like, <laughs> I would never find anyone else attractive with this. Like, oh, my days. Bros, you're coming to argue about saying, uh, no, but you're ruining a relationship. How is it ruining a relationship? I, I, I because the other thousands of people that are sitting there are enjoying. Mm-hmm. Is it because your man is coming to watch mm-hmm. the whole thing should now stop? Yeah, but even if he does watch it, now what? Because what, she's, she's, saying, now? she's saying quarantine, exactly, you can't leave the house you get sex. Exactly. I, I, think the, I don't know who it is yet because they blurred out the name in it, but I feel like the person's acting as if like that person is now going to come and steal your man. Mm-hmm. So what difference would it make if he was watching porn? Yeah, exactly. This is what I was going to say. But what's the difference between that and porn? <laughs> this is another reason why British people are just... Yeah, oh definitely. God. They can never have fun. No. It's like, true. Not a, is it not um, American people that go strip club with their partner, mm-hmm. bro? It's oh, true. Shanna Taylor and Fingy. What? Because then someone was like, if your man's on that life, he doesn't, a, he doesn't I... respect you. So if, if, your boy, if your boyfriend went on the live, would you feel disrespected? It's mm-hmm. just a lie. Okay, that means when when it's um, three a.m. Twitter and you're just doing ah uh, uh, morning the morning on the Twitter, he doesn't respect you either. Then <laughs> it's just a live. I can't lie. I was on it. I was. I was watching the girls. I was on it. I was like, hey, hey, take it out, take it out. I was on it. I don't care. It doesn't mean that we don't miss it. Like that's just stupid. I can't it's lie. It's very stupid. <laughs> But you know that's on girls' minds. I haven't even watched it. That's, 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 that's watch, mad. watch, um, watch uh, T- Tory Lanez's one. His yeah, one watch Tory Lanez. The girls that bums are just a bit more jiggling. Like, it's just <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> mad. No, I can't. Like, I love it when the celebrities come on. Wait, Dora, yeah. Dora the Explorer came on Tory Lanez last night. Damn, <laughs> Dora did her thing. <laughs> she had the backpack. She had the map. <laughs> she had the whole outfit. She had orange panties on. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Dora example. the Explorer came on Tory Lanez's live. Who's Dora the Explorer? You just don't know. <laughs> Let me show you. Who the That's fuck funny. is Dory the Explorer? No idea. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm way back. We just have to go and watch Tory Lanez live real quick. Um, but yeah, so I think we've come to the conclusion that um, UK people are just not very friendly. Yeah, not friendly people. American people just are more of a vibe. 
It's a vibe. Anyway, guys, on to this has been on the TL as well. So cool. So my girlfriend of six months has been out of work for the past two weeks and she just got word that she'll be laid off permanently. She asked me if she could move in with me. I told her that I'm not ready to share my home with anyone. She offered to pay half the bills. I declined. She then proceeded to ask me if I could pay for her rent for the next month. I told her that I'm uncomfortable doing things that her husband should do for my girlfriend, but I told her that she could borrow $300. She said that I'm wrong for not helping her out during her time of need, but it isn't that it, that isn't the case in my perspective. She says that she isn't sure that she'll continue dating me. <coughs> What's everyone saying? What's everyone saying? <laughs> the thing is, you have actually two minds about it. Because just, I can, the only bit I can see where he's coming from is if he feels like he doesn't want to help her. At the end of the day, it's his choice and cool. It's a thing where... He doesn't want her to move in, but he, the, I can't like his reasoning. He just seems invalid. Yeah, just because if it was if it was someone that I didn't want to move in, it's just because I don't want you to move because I don't like my own personal yeah, space. Sure That's that. the only thing. But him saying, but then the fact that she offered to pay half the bills, he valid. Because then on top, it's just the thing where if this is, she can see she's going through a hard time. Like it's not even like this is a regular occurrence kind of thing where she's always trying to take the piss out of you. Duh, 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 duh. But. I can't lie, he still offered to help. He said, I'll loan you for loan. Years. Yeah, no, but you, you can't say that he's not helped, that he's not, he didn't but try. Michelle, in this economy, no. what's $300? Okay, this I know that. I know, but either way, it's not like he said, yeah, fuck you, see ya. Like, he, he actually well said that. How stingy. <laughs> <laughs> how stingy. You know, so if, 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 imagine, listen, you've been laid off work, someone says, I'll just give you $200. That's $300, that's, listen, that's so my phone bill. It's all right, pounds. like, that's that. That's my phone bill. That you've paid for my phone mm-hmm. bill. Where, but where am I gonna sleep? <laughs> so where am I gonna the sleep? only reason why I have a problem with it is because I feel like people should date to marry. Mm-hmm. And I'm so sorry if you're dating this woman. That in my head, yeah, you you see her as your potential wife one day. Do you want to look back in your your past and then your, for your kids to appear one day? Oh, uh, one time when I needed your, your dad the most, he told me he didn't want me to move in because he, right. he uh, what's it called? He didn't want to do husband stuff for me yet. It's Does true. it make I sense? Know, That's a bit embarrassing. As you, said, as you said, they've been going out for six months, so it's not even just like they they met one day and the six, they must have been talking for time before that, before they started going out. Mm-hmm. So you lot know I don't believe in that date to marry bullshit. So that's that's why I should that lie. She's caught. I'm so sorry. I, I would that's cut because I, I would I, leave. I would never let my my man be embarrassed. I would mm-hmm. never let other people laugh at my man when I know I can help, yeah? So I'd expect him to not to do the same thing. Are you telling me your boys are going to see me on the street begging for money, mm-hmm. yeah? Because you couldn't help me out. Very true. I'll go to the strip club and dance so that your boys can give me right. the money then. Like, like, where's her family? <laughs> huh? Where's her family? We don't know her circumstances. Maybe she doesn't have any. Yeah. Maybe she, he's, that's literally her last resort. And he's come to tell me, nah, that I, I like my own space. I'm there. sorry, how stingy can one So when will you live with someone if you like your own space? When will you, when exactly. will you marry someone? When, when? <laughs> I don't get it. I feel like she should just take that as he's not, he was never going to take her like to the next level. So, yeah, he was never so going to take her that's her, her, that's her escape. Mm. I've been with you for six months and you just want to loan me something. You so for example, like that's what I'm saying. He doesn't see a long time with her yeah, because I'm so sorry. Time. Okay, cool. She's in the pits. She needs somewhere to stay. I, it's not even like it, oh, yeah, because she, she's made redundant. She, it's not. It wasn't even like it was her fault. It's not like she did something bad and lost her job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Matilda, yeah. deep it as this, yeah. Imagine, yeah, cool. You're with someone for six months, yeah. You don't have family here. That's just for her. Her situation. She doesn't have family here. You've now called your boyfriend. You've told him basically what she said. And he's saying, nah, I don't, I don't want you to stay here. It gets like that. I came into this world as me, so I'm going to try and find the best way. If so you're not ready, together, if you're not ready, because we feel like as so we can come to each other, we can rely on each other. Right. You would rather me sleep on the roadside. Then see her, innit? it? I, so I, I agree with her. Uh, she can go. Yeah, she I'm not saying she should stay. I feel like as in no, what no, the guy no, was no. doing. She can, she can stay, but I feel like if... if you're not ready to do that. That's on you. Like that's fine. I've just mm. like it's cool, isn't it? I don't believe in dating to marry because I feel like marriage is a thing where it's, it's given to you. Like you don't go out looking for it. Like I don't believe in me looking for marriage. Like cool. I feel like relationships are just um. How how would I say it? They're just. They're just like. Do you think they're like? They're a just life like exams. Experience. Yeah, they're just life experience. It's just exam, 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 exam until you get your fucking job. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, 
till you get your that, that dream job of yours. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I feel like exams is just an experience that you're gonna go through. Um, dating is just an experience you're gonna go through, regardless. Whereas and then ma- and then marriage is given to you, given onto you when the Lord is ready. That's how I feel, regardless yeah. of it. Yeah, so that's I, why I, I get don't, that to I a certain extent. Because I feel like okay, cool, relationships, relationships. But I feel like if we still keep saying okay, no relationships are just life experience, we'll go through so many random mm, people the, to then. But then at the God end, has a plan. So I get that, but sometimes when you're with someone, it's because. Like you need to see so like you're you're not you're not with people just for bands now. Like Obviously you're seeing not. you're with the person because you feel like, okay, cool, can I take this person further into my relationship? Can I build with the person? But you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that I take it every day as they come. Yeah, yeah, but okay, cool. No, like, let's, say, let's say let's say <laughs> even even let's say forget the whole marriage thing yet. Morally, don't you just think that it's wrong? Because mm-hmm. I can't like let's say it was let's say forget relationship. It was one of my friends in that situation. I can't like you can move in and pay half the bills then. Like, imagine, imagine yeah. you came to me with that situation and I'm like, no, nah, I'll loan you 300, though. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what I asked for, man. Oh, I'll loan you 300. I can't lie. If you're the friend... Like you're bad man still, but that's not what I'm not objecting like, to it. I feel like boys are just he's he's been in that he's been like that because I feel like boys are just scared to be finessed, and this is not how you meant to go through life. Yeah. You're gonna get finessed regardless. Yeah. It's about your soul. <laughs> you have to put like it, like as long as you've got a good soul, even if you get finessed yet, it's not that deep because yeah. you know you've done you've done right yeah, you've by done yourself. Right. Yeah, you've done good for someone else, even if they finish you. Yeah, even if they, that's that own that's that own karma. Then they're gonna get karma for it. It's not even an L because I'm so sorry. God knows my heart. Word. So it'll never be an L. She needs to leave his ass. If she's looking, she she's to, stupid. She needs to... <laughs> no, yeah, Carla, she needs to cut still. But um, I don't feel like he's in the wrong for feeling the way he feels. Mm. Is all I'm saying. It would be understandable if he said, you know what, I like my own space too much. Like, I can't really do that. But I think of another solution. But... Just because you don't want to do he the whole... think of another solution. No, she loan her money. She, she, loan. She, uh, yeah, she, yeah she, Matt didn't even loan. Not even, I'll give you... Free. She even changed her thing. I said, can you pay my next rent? And he said, no. <laughs> How much is the rent? I'll loan you 300. I'm so sorry. It's not like this is back in this economy. Where is 300 dollars gonna go? Uh, Bro. Your phone right. bill, I told you. That phone bill is, is, is already taking half that, that chunk. Your phone bill for what? The next three months? No, some people even, think about sixty pounds. If sixty pounds, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, that's four yeah, months. Exactly. Even that's nowadays, okay, like so five hundred pound, two hundred pound is not a hundred pound can just go like that. Right. Listen, once you find those jobs, how many of you guys lose your future and find those jobs? Words, And that's a grand. So let's say like. <laughs> Couple weeks by the weekend. See? Exactly. Money, the by money, the weekend, the money, money goes. No, yeah. I feel like she's, money goes she's asking to uh, move in with her so that he, she can get herself back on her mm-hmm. feet. Like she's not yeah. asking. She, it's not the money that she wants. She just wants a stable place to get herself back on her Maybe feet. Maybe he doesn't trust her. Maybe there's underlying. Then, then he needs to break up. Then, like, why you then he, yeah, that's yeah, the thing. He, he needs said. to break up with her because you can't. Maybe say, she'll take the piss. So then that. that's what he should say because this whole six months this yes. whole we've been going out for six months if there's a problem fucking state it oh they've been going out for six months yeah and then well, maybe he doesn't want to complicate stuff too but then deep in between like, cool. even though you've only been going out for six months they haven't met they haven't known each other for six months they must have known each other longer mm-hmm. You get to know you get to know someone's personality in that time. If you're scared to be finessed by your girl, that not should always. not be your girl. Jesus. Facts. He needs to break up with her though. I can't lie. Period. Sorry guys, I know I said I was gonna end, but I just wanted to ask this because I was I was actually deep in it. So um, obviously Abena's favorite person, Mummy Bella, <laughs> has started um, a series on YouTube called What She Said, and they're also talking about on the receipts. And Tony basically said, yeah, how obviously she wants she's thirty now, I think, and she obviously she wants to get married and have a husband, have children, all that kind of stuff. But then she said that she's also deep to her that for some people, love just doesn't happen. So do you think that's true? Like, obviously, she said, God forbid, she's not going to accept that because, God forbid, that's not her portion in life. But it's just like, do you think that for some... Because like, she said that how she's spoken to older women who, like, who wanted to get married, who wanted to have kids, but then they just were just like, it just never happened. Yeah, I, I feel, feel like it might be the type of women that... <laughs> it it might, it might be the type it. of women that push men away. So it might mm. be them type of women, yeah, that when men come their way, they're either picky about something, they don't like something, mm. and then after a while, it's just like... Because then sometimes some women are like, oh, like, their career got in their way yeah. as well. Yeah, so I was going to say, is it a thing where, are you talking about because of career, or are you talking about because of... Uh, the... just life so happened, either it? it can be career, 
Mm-hmm. Or I feel like it can just be the the girl herself. Like she's had men come into her life, mm-hmm. but she's pushed away men that have come into her life. Do you get? It? Yeah. Like you know, as females, we're quite picky. Like for example, we can be with a man, and then we can see this thing about them, and before we know it, we've pushed the man away, and we can just gradually keep pushing, pushing, pushing men away until they just just won't be any around. To be honest, well, I'm not saying they won't be any around, but in your head it's like we've got a t- certain type of thing that we want mm. like we've got a type of guy that we want and when we don't get that guy i feel like guys that come our way we push them away because we've got a certain t- t- type of guy that we want around <laughs> that age though do you get what i'm trying to say i get what you mean in in a way i feel like that was for everyone yeah. Yeah. god forbid <laughs> everyone will experience love in this world in jesus mighty name god forbid okay, cool. i'm not you experience love Gabrielle, you experienced love. Oh, of course. Case, you experienced love. Matea, you've also experienced love. But I also feel like a lot of people won't experience... Like, they don't... It's just not for them. It's just not for them. It's not planned out in their life. Yeah. Bruv, That's their side. Deep the movies, the cat, the crazy cat woman. <laughs> you know how people are like, yeah, I don't want to be like... Yeah, they're like, yeah, checked out, blah, 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 blah. But I feel like, some, like sometimes it's like that. Because I know, because for example, I look at women like Oprah, Jennifer Aniston. It's just like, you actually would think they would have kids. Mm, yeah. But then because they don't, it's just like, that's maybe just how their life would yeah, be to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Like, Jennifer, like those people are so, are very, very career focused. Mm. And I find like, in, like for for you to even accept love, yeah, you, you need to compromise. And not a lot of women want to compromise. Compr- like, not a lot of people mm, want to compromise. True. Yeah. Like, like, my mum put her career on hold to have kids and to have a husband. Mm. Not a lot of people would want to do that compromise. Yeah. And deep, like, someone like Oprah or Jennifer Anderson struggle, like, in the sector that they're in, yeah. They have to push a hundred times more than the man mm-hmm. does just to get to where they are. Mm. Like people still don't rate Jennifer Anderson. People still don't rate Oprah. So they they, they feel like they have to con- continue like making a point. Mm. So they're not gonna stop and think about all them other stuff. Then not reach the place that they wanna be. Like. Yeah, like society's assumptions and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cause the, but then could you say that? Do you think like so if Oprah was to have a child now, do you think people would stop rate, thinking she's still one of the best hey, people ever? She's established. That woman is mm. established. Well, like for Jennifer Anderson, everyone knows her around the world. Mm-hmm. If she was to have a child now, do you think her status would now lessen? It wouldn't, but I feel like it gets put to a certain part, like part of your life. Yeah, you've gone from without it for so long, you don't care for it anymore. Mm. That's just like, very like, true. Beyonce had children. Everyone still knows that Beyonce is. Yeah, Beyonce had children quite later than mm. normal people. And everyone still writes Beyonce. Well, I mean, I don't really hear about her that much. But everyone knows if you're screaming Beyonce, everyone's going to be like, yeah, Beyonce is mm. hot. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, like everyone knows. That's very like, true. even when I was watching her thing, what's that thing on Netflix? Homecoming. I was like, yeah, Beyonce. <laughs> she's <laughs> the shit, man. <laughs> like, I was just like, she's actually the shit. She's like. too lit with it. So, um, I don't know. Maybe. But I feel, um, I feel like love is for. There's love for everybody, but. There are certain hurdles that may affect Impact it. it. Yeah. Do you think? Oh, I don't know if that's more about the fate thing. What? It was just like, do you think that that's the way life was just? Do you think that's the way their life was meant to be, or do you think it's the thing where they've impacted that? But we kind of spoke about that already. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We've Do-do-do-do. come to the end of the episode. Oh, we come to the end of the road. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Hi guys. So, um, guys, thank you for so much for listening. Uh, and people need to send um dilemmas. Yeah, guys, send in hey, dilemmas. Over. We actually want to ask. We actually want to know about your life. Obviously, we're not gonna expose anyone, but yeah. we just want to answer people's dilemmas. Okay? So, oh, guys. Oh my god! How can oh, thanks, guys, for reminding me. Oh my god, guys, we hit five hundred downloads. <laughs> Everybody say yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Giveaway at a thousand, sponsored by Mateo, I can't lie. Yeah, okay, Mateo's gonna do that because I'm. Ah, Remember she said that? Remember Remember she said that? Remember she said that? I'm I'm involved. But seriously, guys, I just want to thank everyone so much for listening, sharing, big up everybody. Keep sharing, keep liking. Um, Oh, yeah, we've moved to Anchor now, so that basically just means that. Nothing really much has changed. We'll just make sure that <laughs> you're still just what listening and liking. But yeah, 
Um, make sure you follow the Let Me Land podcast on Instagram at Let Me Land Podcast, Twitter Let Me Land Pod. Also use the hashtag Let Me Land Pod. Email Let Me Land Pod at gmail dot com in case you want us to talk about anything or you have any dilemmas you want us to talk about. Also, guys, we're not going to be on SoundCloud anymore, but oh. <laughs> it's <hard to make. laughs> but, but because we're not going to be on SoundCloud, we're going to give we're on YouTube now. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um. But I think that's it. Stay safe, guys. Themselves. During this quarantine season, don't catch corona. Don't go outside if you don't need to. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Um, Carry on tuning in. Oh, the and yeah. money heist. Oh, guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's got nothing to do with it, but yeah, <laughs> money heist is a good show. Yeah. 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 money heist, isn't it? Just yeah. Yeah. Well, we should have asked them who's um, better, Michael Schofield or Professor. I'm so sorry, professor's This girl, she loves. Guys. Anyway, what guys, make sure everyone say bye. Bye. bye.